Hey y'all, this is a uh, brief walkthrough. Um, you've got a challenge here of creating a map on Google My Maps uh, for the uh, Athens website that we're working on in our first year Odyssey class. And I'm just going to walk through real quick how do you figure out how to get your data together and get it uploaded. So let me just uh, give you a couple of examples of how you can do that. So what you see here is the Google My Maps interface, and there's a link to this in your uh, assignments. Um, there's a couple ways you can you can create data. So the first is you can simply create a new map, and we'll give it a second to spin here. And once it's created, um, you'll have it'll start with already a layer on here. So let's zoom in. We're going to zoom into Athens. Give us a chance to um, finish uploading. There's Athens right there. All right. And um, we could change the name of this layer. Let's call it our test layer, right? Not too creative. Um, and then we can simply add things on here. We can add points or lines um, pretty easily. So if we wanted to add some points, so I'll add a point here. Um, we'll call it point one, sure. We'll add a point here and call it point two. Sounds good. And you'll see them listed over here as you go. If you want to edit them, this is an excellent point. You can add uh, elements to that map. And you'll see there's other um, options for things that you can do here. Um, you could add a photo if you wanted to as well. Um, if I wanted to add a line, I would click, 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 simply click here and choose Add Line or Shape. Boop, boop, boop. And double click when I'm done. Line three, go here, something like that. And we've got that line as well. And you'll see that also shows up here. We have both points and lines together. So that's one way to do it. Um, let's say that's not the way we want to. I'm going to go back here to my My Maps interface. And we want to, what we want to do is we want to do a bunch of points at once. And we want to have a backup in case something goes wrong. What you can do is you can set up a spreadsheet that looks something um, like what you're seeing on the screen here. This is uh, something I'm using for another class this semester that some students help create. And you've got a title, a caption, and then coordinates. A so Y and an X column, or you could call it a Latin along um, column however you want to organize it, but it looks something like this. And you put however many points you want to have on here. This will only work with point data. You can't create lines this way. But you can create points, right? And then you go ahead and click on Import. Um, I'm going to select that file. I can have it either in CSV. That's just a spreadsheet, CSV or Excel format. So it's this test points file. It go ahead and up, uploads it. It says, what do you want to have be your um, locations? So my Y is my latitude, and my X is my longitude. Great. And then what's your title? It'll be the title. And finish. And check it out. Here's all my points. right? And if you wanted to classify them in some way, you could actually create a third column. Um, you can classify by um, a column. So if you had another one that was category, say, you could use that to create different colors. You can also change the way these look, um, these icons look. So under here, you can say, um, you know, what color do I want it to be, or do I want it to be a different icon? So there's a P. There's actually quite a few icons you can choose from, right? So if I want to say, here's where I've um, come close to hitting deer around the UGA campus. Um, it would look something like this. And then again, you can break these down um, to specific things, right? Um, and I think you'd have to uh, know what category you're going after. But if you had a categorical variable in there, you could work with that. And I can walk through that with you in class. So that gives you some idea of how to go about um, getting your data into um, Google. You could go through and then edit any one of these if you wanted to. Um, so we don't want to have X and Y visible, right? Then that's gone. I could change the caption if I wanted to once it's up here. Um, pretty easy, pretty straightforward tool. So hopefully this is a helpful resource for you in getting your data in.